Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to learn how to create custom ESS job based on a BI report. So, before we start defining the ESS job for BI report, let us have a quick look at the BI report that we have created in our earlier sessions. So, this is XX demo DM, the data model, and XX demo underscore RTF underscore template, the RTF template. Now, let us get into the instance and define the custom ESS job. So to do that, click on FINA MPL, click on setup and maintenance, click on this book icon and then search, search with manage percentage enterprise percentage job, search, select manage enterprise scheduler job definitions and job sets for financial supply chain management and related applications. Click on this plus icon. Now let's set job name first. So I'm going to give XX demo job name XX demo underscore job path. I will give anything, but let's give fin AP. And this path will be prefixed with slash Oracle slash apps slash ESS slash custom and then the complete path will be Oracle Apps ESS Custom Fin AP application. I'm going to select Financials Common Module. Let's give some description, demo job. Then job application name should be FSCM ESS. Job type would be BIP job type. Next, default output format would be PDF. The report ID would be the XDO path. What would be the XDO path? How do we derive it? So let's go to BI catalog. So this RTF template is existing in shared folders, custom financials. So we have to consider custom financials and then the RTF template name followed by dot XDO. So let's capture that. Here it is. Just copy it and put it here. Next, I'm going to add parameters since our PI report has couple of parameters. So let's verify it. So let's go to BI catalog, click on open. And you can see there are a couple of parameters, invoice source and invoice number. So let us create parameters here. Click on this plus icon, give prompt as invoice source and data type as string page element i'm going to make it as text box so that it becomes a free field next click on save and create another let us give invoice number then string and page element would be text box save and close let's reorder Alright, so we are done with the ESS job definition. Click on save and close. So as the confirmation says, your changes were saved. That means the job has been created successfully. Now let's navigate to scheduled processes window to submit this job. Scroll down, go to tools and then go to scheduled processes and click on schedule new process. Now I will search with xx demo job tab out click on search so let's select the job and click on ok click on ok one more time and as you can see couple of parameters appearing here so let us give invoice source as isp and invoice number as uk 16 and click on submit to submit the job so as you can see this is the process id of successful submission. So let's copy the process ID. We will verify few details with respect to ESS tables 1476694. Okay, click OK. Now refresh and it has completed successfully. And let's see whether it has generated a report for us or not. So let's download here and we can see the PDF getting generated as an output of this program. Now next, 
what I'm going to show is how do we query the ESS job tables. So to do that, let's go to report and analytics and click on new and then data model. And here I'm going to select SQL query, give a name, sample ESS and data source as FSCM. Now let's select star from ESS request history where request ID equal to the request ID that we copied here. So let's paste it, click OK and then go to data and click on view. Let's see it in table view and this is the details that is stored in this table the job execution history table. So the table name is ESS request history. So we can see all the jobs which are submitted and their details in this table. Now how to check the parameters that is entered during submission. So for that let's go to diagram, select the data set, click on this edit icon and just give ESS request property. Okay, and request ID equal to the request ID that I have for the submitted process. Let's go to data and select 100 and click on view. Let's have a look at table view. So as usual, you can see not many information and as you can see here, argument 1 and 2 is the one that we have provided during submission. Argument 1 was the invoice source and argument 2 was invoice number. Source was ISP and invoice number was UK16. So that is it about ESS job creation and next session we are going to see how to create lookup and use the lookup entries as LOV for the invoice source parameter. Thank you and bye bye.